This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel and this is Cryptzone and you are watching the final build or the final review of our castle. So feel free to join me on this little tour of the castle that I've built over the course of I think it was six or seven days if it's not longer so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So we start off with the top view of the castle. Um, this is what it looks like all around. It actually turned out quite good. I think it turned out very nicely. Um, I wanted to build it inside a mountain and it just expanded beyond that. So nice old medieval style castle and uh, we're going to check in just pretty soon now what is uh, the inside of the castle looks like. Here we come to the entrance, or one of the entrances for people living outside. Um, as you know from my house I could get in from my secret highway. As you come in you have the four guard houses where guards would be stationed to ask you any questions and uh, find out what you are doing here. We crossed the wooden bridge. I really wish I had a drawbridge. That would have been awesome, but unfortunately I cannot build one. We have the two guard stations for the guards that's supposed to be guarding the front door. And we also have a nice board saying welcome to the castle. Let's take a quick trip around the castle and you guys can see what it looks like at night. Come on in, let me show you the waiting area. Now after I made this video, I did find out how to make a bit more proper furniture and proper seats and so on. But unfortunately, before I was able to record that video, I lost the game. So this is the last time you guys will see the castle. Coming to the throne room, I changed my throne for a marble throne. Because, you know, I'm the king. I have to have a Uladida throne. Look at the... The artwork, we've got some Donkey Kong on there. And the skeleton looks like Manny Calavera from <laughs> the other game. Grim Fandango, well, I'm not sure if it is him, but it's a skeleton. Coming down to the dungeon area, you guys are familiar with this. Here we've got our treasury. And a quick button. Oh, 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 timing, timing, and we're in, yeah. Checking all our treasure, we've got gold and silver, diamonds, crystals and whatever valuable items we could put in here. Ha! One. Coming into our dungeon area, we have four cells with two beds each. I wanted to put a chamber pot but unfortunately I cannot put down any pots. And I still need to figure out how to build a toilet in, in this game because I was able to do a bathtub and that's as far as I went. So here's the other room. And a couple of more rooms.
Here's our good old execution point where this is the end. My friend gave me a nice idea to put lava next time underneath so that when you fall down, you can be burnt to a crisp and we don't have to worry about a piling up of bodies. I just thought that this case, uh, there's a lot of spiders and ghouls that like to eat you. <laughs> Very sadistic. Okay, going back up, we're going to go to the, the rest of the castle now. Oops. And the one thing that I did forget to build <coughs> was a dining room. I made this my dining area, but like I said, I lost that video before I could record it. So it's one of those things. Moving up, here we have, which way am I going? To the barracks. We've got a little armory with our goodies and tools and weapons. And then for every soldier, we have a bed with his own weapons rack and his armor and sword. Going into the kitchen area, we have our cauldrons and some furnaces, we've got a nice open fire and our food storage, where we have food and potions. Here we come to the library, not much has changed here. Um, you guys did see the completed one, so it's still the same. Maybe it's just some extra pictures, but that's it. The basic layout is still not changed. And to the guest bedroom, or spare bedroom for someone to just have a nap. Not very big, so I'm expecting no, no special guests, it seems to me. It looks almost more like a servant's quarter. Maybe we should call it a servant's quarter. If whoever's making food in the kitchen, maybe that person can sleep there. I mean, we're a very small household. Here's the room for the the ladies to be doing some knitting and gossiping and whatever ladies do when they were bored or not doing anything else. Here we are in the two bedrooms for the two boys. Um, just add some bookshelves, jukeboxes, and some pictures added. And here's the other bedroom. The one son always likes the red, the other one always likes the blue, so it's easy to say which is which. And then I think it's off to my bedroom. Um, I did build a much bigger bed, one of those canopy beds. But alas, the video didn't work. Oh, and I've got a fish tank that I added, or fish pond. Uh, I was wondering what I'm going to do with this little wasted space. So the wife told me to make a little fish pond here. So there's a fish pond. And then you have your little sitting area, jukebox, some decorative vases. And my armor rack with my armor in it. And the bed. Of course I have to have golden armor. There you can see the night sky when you're sleeping and in the morning when you wake up. Ta-da! Sunlight. I do think though you're not going to sleep very long in this room because the moment it becomes brighter outside, you're going to automatically wake up. Okay, up to the secondary wall. It's a very practical castle for a very practical person. Nothing here is wasted. Um, and I think you guys would have noticed there's no music this time from my own music because two of my videos has already been uh, demonetized because of copyright claims that was placed on music that is supposed to be copy free music that I downloaded from audio library and YouTube copy free music and the worst of all is before you upload videos YouTube checks your status and makes sure that everything is fine for monetization and I got two check marks telling me the music is sharp sharp and what happens two days later I get a copyright claim so I don't know what is most broken here either YouTube is broken or their check method is broken or the people that say their music is copy free 
gets greedy and they just want money for their music when they see the music is being used more often and then they basically take your money so I'm very peed off at that so no music in this video just commentary and that's it guys there is the entire castle so first of all I would like to ask, uh, ask you guys to give me a comment on what you think of my castle build and this was also the last video on this castle and then please stay tuned for the next upcoming videos because the next videos will feature the new and improved graphics the new minecraft that I actually bought plus two of my first house designs in the new video in which I actually learned how to make a roof awesome just check my place it's actually very beautiful it's actually almost like my dream house something that I would definitely live in if I ever was given the choice and I also went exploring got some beacons up and running and I'm building a lot of stuff in those maps oh yeah the last thing is our smithy well we have to have a smithy you can't have a castle without somebody repairing your stuff as far as I found out this minecraft maps are three times the size of the earth itself I couldn't believe it but then I saw a video and it's like it's impossible to build the whole map you know to cover the whole map in buildings it's impossible you're gonna build your whole life long and you'll never get the end of the map so my idea of building mega structures is just a dream it's a pipe dream it will never happen but for now this is it this is my castle so guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of the next upcoming video and until next time guys whatever you do keep it safe cheers